Thought you'd like to see this video. It was filmed back in June. Hello and welcome to my tropical garden. Hope you enjoyed this video. Now, in the past, a lot of people have asked me why would I want to grow a tropical garden here in the UK, so close to London? Well, the answer is way back, way back when I first moved into the house. I wanted to make a choice of whether to have a tropical garden or an English cottage garden. I like both really and I suppose in a way I've joined the two together. I have some amazing plants, some of these very large leafed plants and I've also got a great view over fields and farmland from my back garden. I have a koi carp pond and in there I've got some very big fish and some very old fish too, been with me for many many years. Unfortunately I have to have a net over the pond because I get a visit from Mr Heron sometimes. There's a very large agave, I've had that for a long time as well. And this is a very beautiful plant that never lets me down. It's so easy to propagate, take cuttings. Those are two large trees. The large tree on the left I call the Bird Hotel. This is a lovely time of the year. All of the colourful flowers are out. Apples are growing, starting to get big. And the flock foxgloves are still at their best I think and the little bumbly bees are loving them. And the cherries. Birds love those too unfortunately. As long as they leave some for me, I don't mind. Gunnerum manicata, a fantastic plant to have in your garden. That is actually planted in a very old pond. Bananas are coming out now, after losing their leaves all through the winter. Papyrifus rex, beautiful, big leafed, tropical plant. If you've got a tropical garden, you should have one of those. And an Acer, Japanese Acer. Spineless agave and some geraniums. Everything's looking really good now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this little video, this short video. And I'll see you all again next time. Bye for now.